Hey guys, so I made a video not long ago, last night actually, saying that uh, <laughs> um, I don't believe that 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 teaches the rapture. I don't believe that 1 Corinthians chapter 15 teaches the rapture either. This idea that um, not that some saints, you know, uh, will be taken up alive, or however you want to get it explained to that. Anyways, most of you understand the rapture, probably, that are listening right now, but there's something that I kind of forgot about. I mentioned 1 Corinthians 15 really quick, and I talked about the last trump. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 52 says, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall all, or we shall be changed. And I said, I thought that the last trump is like the last breath, the last bow. It's like a figure of speech. It's talking about death. So, you know, at death, which happens in an instant, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, when it happens instantly, uh, after that, the trumpet shall sound, you know, we would see the Lord and be raised, be resurrected, um, just like Jesus was, have eternal life. So, but anyways, an important part of 1 Corinthians 15, which I didn't get to, and I said I want to do, you know, a separate video on this and more teachings on all this, but I realize that this is really important. I just want to mention this. The verse before that might even be more important um, to the, the false rapture doctrine, because 1 Corinthians 15, 51 says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed. So the idea is that this is going to happen at a moment, um, at a moment in time, uh, the Lord's going to come and, and the, the dead will rise and people who are still alive will, will rise and be changed. And so they, they get this idea where it says, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. So they say, okay, well, not all of us will be dead at this moment but we'll all be changed. So therefore is the idea of this rapture taking people alive, not having to face death. And this whole passage, this whole chapter needs to be gone over, I understand that. But these are really the critical verses. Maybe there's some other ones that we could say are critical, but um, I want to try to help you see the language in this, how we get confused on this, okay? It says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. And this could mean, and I believe it means this, I'm just kind of putting this together for now on the forum, so I put this just in case I'm going to change it soon, but I really do think this is what it's saying here. What he's saying is, We all shall not sleep, but we shall all be changed. Okay, so the verse in the King James Bible, it actually says, We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. So people think, we shall not all. That means that some will sleep and some won't. But I'm saying no. The way that it needs to be interpreted, I'm not saying that the King James Bible is wrong in any way. It's the Word of God. It's, you know, inerrant. I believe that. But the way that this needs to be interpreted, because of the language, is we shall, or we all shall not sleep, but we shall all be changed. And there's some other examples uh, to look at. 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6, verse 12, he says, All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. So he says, but all things are not expedient. But we really understand that to mean, but not all things are expedient. So the not, you know, goes before the all, but not all things are expedient. You know, he's, we're not, we don't take it as saying, but all things are not expedient. Okay, it's saying that just everything is not expedient. No. It means not all things are expedient. Um, so, you know, some things are helpful and good, some things uh, might not be, okay? And 1 Corinthians 15, 39, all flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men. Anyways, the beginning it says all flesh is not the same flesh. So we understand that to mean not all flesh is the same flesh, okay? So, you know, the flesh of a certain animal is for, for a certain animal, and, 
you know, for a human, it's for a human, um, but the human and the animal don't have the same flesh. Not all flesh is the same flesh. So I hope you understand the, the grammar here, the way that it's meant to be interpreted, to understood. So when Paul says, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. You know, think of this, think of this old English language, like, you know, we shall not all die, all of us. We shall not all die, but we shall all be changed. Okay? We shall not all die, but we shall all be changed. And then, you know, you might say, well, we do die because our physical bodies die. But, you know, what he's saying is, you know, he's speaking of the resurrection that all Christians have hope in, eternal life that happens at the moment of death. So I hope you just, you understand this language. It's not saying that, you know, we shall not all sleep, meaning that some will die and, and some will be alive um, at this time time of the quote-unquote rapture. No, it's not saying that. He's saying, we shall not all sleep. All believers in Christ shall not sleep. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. So we say, we shall, we all shall not sleep, okay? Maybe a little bit confusing, but just think about it for a while. Meditate on that, and I think that you'll get it. Think of the old English language. Look at these examples, okay? We shall not all sleep. We shall not all die, but we shall all be changed. Okay. Not trying to say that some are going to die and some aren't. This is just speaking of the hope of the resurrection. What happens at death. Okay. So I hope that helps you understand that. And again, you know, I don't see the rapture in here. I see people getting confused. I see years and years of false doctrine confusing people, including myself, unfortunately, and we got to break that cycle. So, God bless.